Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the best free assets for December, January 2024. And I know it's the new year and everybody loves getting free assets. So I've got a selection of the best editor extensions, 3D models and all of the best free assets that you can find on the Unity Asset Store. And I do have the full list on my website and a smaller list on the Unity Asset Store, which I normally do. But Unity have got this weird bug, which is not letting your favorite items really easily. So first one we've got is got the Fantasy Map Editor Beta. And while this is in beta, you can get this for free. And this one is a map creator where you can add buildings, landscapes, props, and other icons. It fully controls layers. You can save PNGs or other things with full source code included. Now, in this version, it doesn't require Photoshop at all. So you can bring in PNGs or sprites and be able to add these without any editing at all. Next one is the Adventure Female Free. It's a really detailed model with separate meshes for the pistol, the hair, and the main character's body, all with over around 100,000 polygons, all in a PBR style workflow. And if you like free assets, do come and support me on Patreon because I've got over 220 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. One of the biggest collections that you can find because I share everything with you guys. Next one is something called Bike Balance, and this is a realistic physics system and has two wheel colliders with rigid bodies, and it allows you to manually control the steering and the angle, specifically to controlling a bike within midair. Next one is the simple and powerful inventory system, which could well be a really great start to collecting items, being able to stack such items, and to be able to work this into your own project with its own save system to save the state of the inventory seamlessly. Next one is the Low Poly Nature, which is a pack of 44 unique models, a demo scene with lots of props, including bridges, cliffs, campfires, dead trees, fences, and more. Next one is something called Whitescape, and it's a minimalistic one-bit asset pack created in a white and black opposite inverted style. So it includes 40 different props with 21 character sprites configured with tile map to be able to use this in this unique style. We've got the advanced runtime console, which allows you to get specific information like in-game time, frames per second, players and in health bars, add buttons to pause the game, sliders to modify delta time, and really usable items to be able to control all your debugging and all your advanced runtime features without you having to create things for yourself. Next one is the Simple Selection History Light. As anybody have seen in other popular programs, that if you actually do different actions, it will remember what you've just done, whether you control or delete, whether you've created a game object or a component. Now this allows you to click back and go backwards to a specific point that you might have been. Next one is the Multi-Material Static Mesh Combiner, supported across all pipelines in 2021 and above, so you can optimize your game to create static meshes with tools, combine static meshes, and you can take all these, no matter if they have multiple materials or not, and combine them together. Next one is the Seasons and Weather Effects, so if you're making an open world game with, with multiple terrains and different seasons, it includes multiple decal projectors, suitable for URP and HDRP, suitable for across all terrains, and you can include wet weather with puddles, rain, fog, and rain, night, winter, autumn, spring, and summer. Lots of examples for butterflies, bees, pollen, beetles, footprints, whatever suitable for a particular season. The object placement visual effects is a shader with three different object placement effects suitable for RTS games, building games, or other genres like that. And it's ideal for prototyping or just getting something where you can learn from it in terms of how to create that silhouetted style. This one, we've got the Dynamic Mesh Combiner Light, which allows you to take both animatic and static meshes and support for LODs and combine those together, which is suitable for optimizing performance across mobile and VR projects and works with other popular assets too. And the last one in this list is the Input Prompt Display. Now, the Unity's input system doesn't have anything built in by default, but this allows you to easily display key bindings when you're using the Unity UI system, i.e. if you come up to something and it requires you to press X on the keyboard, you might want to transfer this to a gamepad to then show A at the same time. So do let me know if you like some of these assets and I'll leave all the links below so you never miss out on anything. And do check out all my other playlists for all the other months you might have not seen. Do check out my Patreon to get access to 220 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And also be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and bundles that you can find at this very moment. 
as I never want anyone to miss out. Do check out my assets on the Unity Asset Store and massive savings on my website too. Big thank you to all my patrons, special thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.